What's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's all about this solo duplication glitch. If you haven't seen my last post, all right, the video that I made today before this one, that is the best money glitch that you can do right now. Unfortunately, it is two players, but it's easy and you can do 10 cards at once. I'll leave a link down in the description. Check that video out. But this glitch is a solo one. This is for all the people that, you know, just don't have the friends to do these glitches for, and that's okay. There is a solo money glitch and you do not need a BMX bike for it. The other downside, it's a Deluxo dupe. So since we're duping Deluxos, you're not gonna get nearly as much as you would for an LG Retro dupe. All right, you get roughly 300K per dupe for this, but it is solo and it is very, very simple, okay? So what you're gonna need, you need a fully upgraded Deluxo and not a dupe. You want an actual Deluxo that you just bought, you know, like an original. It cannot be a dupe. You, can't, you couldn't have got it from a friend through GC2F, nothing like that. It must be an original Deluxo, all right? You also need a nightclub with at least one garage and RH8s in that garage, all right? And you do not need custom plates really good. You get fresh plates every single time, so that makes the glitch even better. And you're going to need to save the vehicle, so you need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, and you want to have an RH8 in there as well, all right? And a big shout out to the founder, which is Digital Junkie. This glitch actually worked before, but it's working again, again now with the nightclubs, okay? So yeah, big shout out to you, link in the description. And we're gonna go ahead and actually get started with the glitch now, okay? So what you wanna do is go ahead and head over to your garage at the nightclub. You wanna head over to the garage, whichever one it is, I don't really think it matters. I'm using B3, but I don't think it makes that big of a difference. Uh, so I have all my RH8s in here. I'm just gonna grab the RH8 in slot one, okay? So you want the Deluxo. I had mine in another garage. I'm not sure if it can be in any of these, but I, I recommend just put your Deluxo in another garage, okay? So at this moment, I've driven out with the RH8 and you actually wanna leave this RH8 here, okay? Just leave it out in front of the nightclub and go grab a streetcar and get as far away as, well, not as far away as you can, but a decent distance, basically enough so that you can call up another vehicle, okay? So like I said, it's a decent distance away. I think this is gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and call my mechanic and I'm gonna order up my Deluxo that I believe I have it in the CEO garage, okay? so. I'm gonna go ahead and call it up, CEO Garage 3. Yep, first one in the slot. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna call this car up right now and we're just gonna wait for it to get delivered. And like I said, this must be an original Deluxo. Just to do this tutorial, I've actually bought one, a brand new Deluxo, and modified it from scratch and everything like that. I didn't put the full, full upgrade on it so it won't sell for the 300K, but trust me, you guys can get your Deluxos up to 300K if you put every single upgrade maxed, all right? So you're gonna be spending a decent amount of money, but at least if you have a Deluxo already in original, then you're good to go. You know, well, you do need the nightclub as well, but still. So here it is. This is my fully upgraded Deluxo that is in the CEO garage. Now you want to go to a spot where we're going to be accessing under the map to go to the interior of the new nightclubs. So this is the spot right here. It looks like it's on the highway, but it's actually under the overpass. So you want to go to that location with your Deluxo. This is what it looks like right here. This is the highway kind of right in front of the airport that leads you in there. So I wanted to show you guys, you know, the angle actually getting here so that you know the exact spot, you know, the exact location. So there's no confusion. All right. So if you turn right here, you see that wall right there, the building, that's where you want to be facing. We're going to be using that. So this is the spot once again on the map, just, to, you know, clear everything up. So there we go. Now you want to go ahead and, you know, put it in hover mode and we want to do this wall breach right here and you got to pretty much get it up in the corner. This might take you a few tries, but you know, don't get discouraged. Just keep trying. And you see, even there I crashed and I was still able to get up. Look, there you go. So at this point, once you get in there, you actually want to drop, all right? Don't drop as much as me. I ended up dropping because my wheels came back down. But you just want to drop a little bit and then you want to go into the direction of the airport, okay? So as you can see right there, I'm going to that direction. If you have a hangar at LSI, it's nice and easy to see that, but follow this path that I'm taking because you don't want to hit water. You don't want to hit tunnels, nothing like that. You don't want to get knocked out. All right, and then end up on top of the map or with a destroyed car. So follow this little route that I'm taking. As you can see, we're following like the little roundabout road that's over at the airport. And then we're just going through here and we're gonna be going to a specific location so that we can access the interior of the nightclub. All right, and I'm gonna show you on the map here in a second, but you wanna go ahead and position yourself 
over in this general area for now and here we go i'm gonna press pause and i'm gonna show you the exact well or the general location that you pretty much have to be at so this is kind of the middle of it right there where i'm putting the marker you want to head over to that location and just kind of try to position yourself right in between all of those you know like roads on the map okay so not sure i think i'm just confirming right here the exact location but uh yeah okay so here we go I'm gonna go ahead and go to this spot and try to remain steady. Don't move around too much. And once the car is steady, you wanna go ahead and just simply turn off hover mode and just drop, okay? Just drop straight down and you should land in the interior of the nightclub. Now just sit here and wait, get ready. Right when the radar flickers, you wanna go ahead and start tapping the gas. That would be RT, right trigger on Xbox. That would be R2 on PlayStation. So right now, right when that little you know map flickered, I'm just tapping R2. Tapping R2 or RT, just keep tapping the gas. And if done correctly, you will spawn outside and you will actually have a fresh plate. I don't know if you saw in the beginning, but the Deluxo I was using had a Roll Easy plate on it. So I now have a fresh plate and that was from the RH8 that was actually inside that we had outside, you know, from the nightclub. So at this point, you need to save the vehicle, call up your MOC with the personal vehicle storage. Remember, you want an RH8 in here uh, before doing this part and just go ahead and hit right D-pad to enter. It's going to ask you to transfer vehicles and that's okay. You want to go ahead and accept that. All right, so here we go. Right D-pad, are you sure you want to transfer the vehicle? So we're just full, just say yes. And once you put it in there, that's it, it's saved. All right, so it's as easy as that, guys. That's how you do it. And to rinse and repeat, you would just have to basically grab this Deluxo, put it in another spot, another garage, and get an RH8 in here. Maybe have an RH8, you know, another garage full of RH8s, and you can just drive these Deluxos in there, and they would swap, you know? So, so the uh, Deluxo would go into the garage, the RH8 would go into the MOC. That's a way to rinse and repeat to make it nice and quick. But I just wanted to prove to you guys at this point that this is a, uh, a, you know, a dupe. So I was driving the dupe right there. I left it outside and I'm going into my CEO garage. Remember where I called up the original Deluxo? And there it is. You want to keep this one here. Separate your original Deluxo from the dupes. Because if you're doing this glitch, do not duplicate your dupe. So I cannot dupe the the car i had uh, the, the car i have outside i can only dupe this car this is the original if you dupe your dupes you will not be able to sell them after you will get a message that says is you can't sell vehicles over fifty thousand dollars okay so make sure guys make sure that you are not duping your dupes with this glitch you want to dupe only the original okay so don't sell your original you need to keep that because that's the car that you're duping every single time so that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.